So, Red Alert, Clark Kent, K. Capri, I can name Jazzy Joyce. They was running the land. Nobody wanted to work at Hot 97. Everybody turned the fucking job down. I made a tape. This is why I'm, I am the way I am about certain things. When, 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 when Hot 97 wanted a tape for the rap show, I was playing in a club home base. Now, I remind you, this is when I'm on my tear because I just got fired. I'm in this club called Home Base, no liquor, no alcohol, so it's even harder to get the crowd in. I'm playing with Onyx, Naughty by Nature, Red Man, everything that matters. I'm in there on the first night. I'm smashing the night, 2000 deep. And it's the urban night, which back then they called the black night. Um, on the second night, it's a Hispanic night where Hot 97 advertises. Um, John Gungi Rivera, I want to remember these names right. Um, there was another big DJ at the time. Um, uh, Little Louis Vega and a couple other DJs, they walked out on the night. They didn't want it. Promoter said, let's use Flex. Now this club I'm talking about, Home Base, was the club of the time. Red Alert was the one who got me in the club because they called him first and they said, that's my man. You should use my man right there. So he gave me the alley-oop, and when I got in there, I did my thing. Now my name's being advertised on Hot 97. I'm not on yet. I'm on my tear because I got fired. I don't care what radio station's gonna hire me. The people who made a tape, Stretch and Barbito, Dr. Dre and Ed Lover, a guy named Andy Panda, and I made a tape. My tape had no talking, I tell you the song, I played Vanilla Ice, I played Hammer, I played OPP on a the tape, they gave me the job. They thought that's what I was gonna play every night. <laughs> when I got in the building, I started ringing off Eric B for president, top billing, Red Man. They said to me, that's not the tape you made for the show. I said, doggy, I got this. We are gonna be, let me get this. I got the street, let me do what I do. Nobody wanted to work at the station. They used to, the promoters, the record promoters, all the black promoters stopped hiring me. They said, you're a sellout, you're over at the pop station, the clubs don't want you no more. We good, nobody would hire me. Hence comes the tunnel. I said, cool, nobody. Slow down. All right, you're moving, you're, no, 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 <laughs> you're moving quick, Wait, sorry. There's I want to get back to nobody want to come over there. Yes, <laughs> because important, but it's important for me to, because this is important. By the time you made it to radio, to a station that would take you, mm -hmm. number one, the station wasn't hot. Mm -mm. It, they was a dud, they was laughing at me. My first appearance that I went to, my first appearance I went to, there was five dudes there. They wasn't even there for me. It was Lower East Side, shit was empty, 90 degrees. <laughs> so it was a, Angie Martinez and Big Dennis were in the back. They were the only ones who kept it 100 with me. I said, Joe, does anybody got me on in the street? They were like, no, nigga, you're not on. <laughs> cool, we gonna keep grinding. Let's keep grinding. Then I remember Angie started work with me and I played a top billing. She said, that's what they want to hear. Stay right there. I said, no problem. She was in the vans. I said, they listening to me yet? No, they not. <laughs> cool. We're going to keep grinding. Kiss and BLS had an in-store where everybody's van showed up. I said, we're going to get there early. We're going to put our banners up. We're going to block the door. So whoever come down here, it's us. They came. We was like, nah, you got to put your banners up out in the street. Nah, y'all can't park the van and we keeping our shit here. It was like, I don't know, 500 people. We started, we started catching momentum. We started catching uh, a movement. So, you know, for me, when I hear people, oh, I deserve to be on. Why ain't I on? Because you ain't putting no fucking time like the time I fucking put in. I was here when nobody was listening. Like, and I understood it's about the people not about you and what you what you want to get. It's about pleasing the people.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.